As robots become more advanced, more intelligent, more sentient and more living, what does it mean to be human? We are machines. We're beautiful biological machines. Evolution is not just biological evolution. It started with biology. Right now we have technological evolution. How is evolution changing? In 20 years, will there be a difference between humans and robots? It's not going to happen tomorrow, but if you go out 100 years, 200 years, I mean, I think we will be largely non-biological. It's going to mean the end of a bunch of old paradigms of how we think about human beings. But there's a lot of things about human beings, about myself, that I'm happy to say goodbye to and maybe robots are able to help me with. With the evolution of robots, we start to see computers not so much as tools as they are part of our social and psychological lives. Artificial intelligence implies that it's not real intelligence, but it is real intelligence, and ultimately it will fully match and exceed human intelligence, and we'll put it inside ourselves to make ourselves smarter. We're going to merge with these machines. We have already, even though we carry them on our belts, they are part of who we are. We're taller, we're stronger, uh, we've got contact lenses, people are getting laser surgery, they're getting boob jobs, you know. This is all normal to us because we're used to it and it's, it's happened sort of gradually. The transition is so smooth that you don't really realize, oh Jesus, I have something in my hand that, that's a robot, right? So I think we won't, we won't realize that people are actually becoming more robots. It is happening already. It's just, it's on the popular mind. Would you replace your legs to be able to run faster? Replace your eyes to be able to see beyond human capacity? What happens when we reach a stage where the alternative is better than the real thing? Our whole health and biology and medicine is now being reprogrammed as if this was software. And that's actually not a metaphor. There is software running in our bodies, but it's out of date. And we have the means now of updating it. The biggest danger of that is, you know, how far people will go in terms of like changing organs and changing their limbs to get better limbs. When people start cutting their arms to get a prosthetic arm because it works better for them, I think that's a little problematic there because then you're going to have more robot than human. It's going to be hard for us to know when to stop and what the limits of that are and when we want to say that we're, we don't want to be superhuman humans and I think that's going to be moral and ethical decisions that are coming upon us fast. According to futurists, the singularity is the moment when artificial intelligence will surpass human intelligence, when humans will become robots and robots will become humanized. But is possessing artificial intelligence enough for a robot to be considered human? What about emotions and empathy, the way we act, react, and interact? How much of the human experience can be hard-coded, hardwired, and how much of it is based on actually being human? Robots will never know the arc of a human life, will never know death, will never fear death, will never know life, will never know what it is to have a child, will never know what it is to fear the loss of a child. Emotional intelligence is essential mm -hmm. for any technology that is interacting with a human in a way that purports to be intelligent. A machine needs to be able to express uh, empathy. Mm -hmm. It needs to be able to like look sorry if, if it's done something wrong. It needs to maybe share your joy and, and share some of your sorrow in terms of outward appearance. We've created smart machines, but to truly be human is to feel. So how do we create robots that do feel, that have empathy? And are we ready to have those human robots in our midst? <laughs>